quiet and courteous, and silence your cell phones now. Friends, it's your girl Mandy.exe here to talk to you today about Borderlands. Right off the bat, I just want to say I finally got around to watching the trailer for the new upcoming Eli Roth directed Borderlands movie, and I gotta say, guys, I hate it. I hate that I can't hate it. I just, I, I can't. I can't. I've watched it like three times, and. I can't hate it. So unless you've been living under a rock, you'll know that we are getting a Borderlands adaptation for the big screen. And I gotta tell you, when I first started hearing information about this movie, I was super, super skeptical. I'm still, I'm still a little hesitant, I will admit that. But after seeing the trailer, I, my opinion's starting to change up a little bit. First off, let's talk about that casting real quick. We got Kate Blanchett as... The Siren Lilith. We got Ariana Greenblatt as everyone's favorite Tiny Tina. And then we have Kevin Hart as Roland. We'll, we'll circle around back to that one. Uh, and then, to round off everything, we've got Jack Black as Black Trap. And I, right off the bat, I can tell you, when we first heard that Jack Black was going to be Clap Trap, I think the general consensus was... Oh, hell no. 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 Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No, 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 hell no, 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 I refuse, no, no. After hearing it, like seeing the trailer and hearing the voice, I can finally see it. Kate Blanchett, mm, I, I hate to admit it, I really do, because I'm not a huge Kate Blanchett fan, but she embodies Lilith. I mean, that is our Lilith, and we also, a little bit there, we have Jamie Lee Curtis's Tannis, which, I mean, yeah, come on, I, I, I still will have a soft spot for Jamie Lee Curtis. The original Scream Queen. And Ariana Greenblatt, Tiny Tina. I don't know much about uh, Ariana. I've only seen her in the Barbie movie. Don't have a whole lot to go off of, but hey, come on. She can play our, everyone's favorite little psycho. Now, the one that really threw me off, Kevin Hart as Roland. As we all know, Roland is a big dude. I mean, he is a muscular soldier. And if you've ever played Borderlands 2, you'll know all about it. Roland, and I'm not gonna spoil anything for those of you that haven't actually played Borderlands. If you haven't, god damn it, man, what is your excuse? But Roland is a fan favorite character, and to have somebody like Kevin Hart is seemingly shoehorned in, I have my doubts, but I'm gonna give benefit of the doubt for Kevin here. Being that this movie is based off of a series that in of itself chooses when and where it decides to take itself seriously, it could work. Who knows? I mean, well, like I said, benefit of the doubt. We'll, we'll see how this goes. But, like I said, watch the trailer. It was good. Uh, we also got kind of a weird combination of uh, of characters that they're throwing on. We've got uh, Cheyenne Jackson as Jacobs. So we've got, let's see, Edgar Ramirez as Atlas. Gina Gershon as Moxie. Uh, Charles Babalola, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing any of these names, as Hammerlock. Um, and then, you know, I see we got Benjamin Byron Davis as Marcus. Stephen Boyer as Scooter. Paula Andrea Placido as Quinn. And Ryan Redman as Ellie. Now, the one I keep leaving out, because I know I'm going to butcher this name, Florian Montino as Krieg. It just, to me, it's a weird combination of characters from the first Borderlands, the second Borderlands. And in the trailer, I swear, I see a couple of Borderlands 3 characters. So it's kind of a really weird combo. And for everybody that's familiar with the games, you know the lore behind the games, it might hurt a little bit to admit it first. But I, I'm, I'm willing to give this movie a chance. Uh, it comes out later in 2024. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Ace is looking forward to it. So... If you're looking for my opinion, uh, at a first glance, reading the book by the cover, it sounds like crap, and it looks like crap. Until you break it down, and then you really start seeing the little Borderland works. And also, as just a nice little cherry on top, we have the wonderful Eli Roth as directing. Okay, now if you're not familiar with Eli Roth, you have to be familiar with Cabin Fever. Huh? Hostel? Hmm? How about that? Hostel 2? Uh, The Green Inferno? All amazing movies! He also got some acting chops to his name in Inglorious Bastards. I mean, this, this guy's pretty well-rounded. And like I said, uh, maybe it's just me being, um, I, I, I don't know, kind of biased, but I really like Cabin Fever. So, you got the guy that did Cabin Fever. Hell yeah, I'm on board. So, like I said, this movie comes out later this year, 2024. So, I'm gonna give it a chance before it completely right off. But if you were looking for my opinion, there it is. Hopefully I'll see you in the movie theaters. And if you liked this video, please go ahead and comment back and tell me your opinions on 
uh, the new Borderlands week because I want to hear from you. I mean, that, that's what this is all about. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I suck. I don't care. And also, if you want to come and bitch at me live, uh, you can find me uh, live during the week here on YouTube. You can also find me on uh, Twitch, Kick, Facebook. Uh, simultaneously stream there, and you can also follow me on TikTok, yada, 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 links down in the description. But uh, in the meantime, I got some content creation to do, so you guys take it easy, and hopefully I'll see you at the movies. So, ciao!